Welcome to KCTS 9 Connects, taking you beyond the headlines of Northwest news, issues, and politics. Coming up, exploring the huge oil reserves in Alberta, Canada, it could end our dependence on Middle East oil. But is it worth the environmental costs? We'll take a look. But first, the latest on Northwest relief efforts in Haiti. It's been 10 days since the magnitude 7 quake struck near the city of Port-au-Prince. Relief efforts are increasing every day. U.S. and U.N. forces are on the ground distributing food, water, and treating the injured. Search teams continue to look for survivors in the rubble and in some cases are finding people alive. But the situation is still extremely dire. Hundreds of thousands are homeless, hospitals are overwhelmed, and treating patients without anesthesia or painkillers. The death toll is estimated at 50,000 now, but could reach into the hundreds of thousands. On the brighter side, money is coming in to help. Donations from American citizens, companies, and are estimated now in the excess of $305 million. A lot of people are stepping up locally to help the people of Haiti. The Moore Theater in Seattle is hosting a benefit concert next Thursday. Seattle Helping Haiti features local performers such as Mike Herrera of MXPX and the Memphis Radio Kings. Tickets are $15 and all proceeds go to the Red Cross. Sunday night, you can donate by eating out. Nearly a dozen local restaurants, including How to Cook a Wolf, are taking part in Dine Out Seattle for Haiti, donating a portion of their proceeds that night to NetHope, a group restoring vital communications in Haiti. And even elementary school kids are getting in on the act. Co-elementary school in Seattle's Queen Anne neighborhood is holding a bake sale on Saturday with all money going to the group Partners in Health. Then on Sunday, February 7th, Co, John Hay Elementary and McClure Middle School will hold a joint rummage sale with proceeds to benefit relief efforts. We put information about these events and many more on our website. You just go to kcts9.org slash Haiti. As we've pointed out, a lot of money is coming in right now to help disaster victims in Haiti. Charity groups call this the window of compassion, but when the story stops being headline news, the donations tend to trail off. So a couple of local organizations are working hard to make sure there is money and aid down the road. Joining me now is former Seattle Mayor Norm Rice, who's now the president and CEO of the Seattle Foundation, and Randy Strash, the strategic director for emergency response from Federal Way Base World Vision. Thanks, folks, for being here. I appreciate it very much, gentlemen. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Former Mayor. <laughs> good it's to have always you. Norm. Yes. <laughs> what is the Seattle Foundation doing now as far as um, on a local basis to help out? Well, we're doing two things. The first thing is uh, getting our site up and ready for our donors to be able to make those donations. Uh, we have a three-pronged approach, uh, immediate, intermediate, in long-term relief. So we've collected almost uh, $200,000 uh, already, but we really do believe that the rebuilding efforts, which uh, World Vision is so well able to do, we want to make sure we have donors who can give to that long-term investment. We have a donor pool of about $20,000 for that effort. We hope to get uh, that site and people still interested for the long-term recovery of Haiti rather than the short-term uh, emergency needs. Now, World Vision has been on the ground there, Randy. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you finding? How are your people doing? Wow. Well, you know, we had 800 staff in the country when the disaster happened because we're engaged in long-term development. Uh, 90 of those staff were in the city, and about half of those lost their homes, cars. Uh, some of them lost family members. Um, but the ones uh, that were able to deploy are working flat out. Um, and uh, we've also sent in a dozen international disaster specialists. And that's been supplemented from Dominican Republic. We're working on e the emergency needs right, uh, right now, uh, the um, surgical supplies and, uh, and hospital supplies. And also we've begun food distribution. We've distributed uh, what we call family survival kits to help uh, people who are living in the parks or in the streets. Um, have at least some kind of livable situation. And Norm brought up here, I mean, the focus of it being not just now, right. but long term, because, I mean, we know that this is, uh, I mean, if you look at what happened to Katrina and still yeah. evidence there, and now what has happened in Haiti, 
obviously it is, it, we're talking total rebuild. Yes. yes, we are. How do you, you know, keep that, that window of compassion ongoing? Yeah. Well, Go ahead. <laughs> I, I think there are two, two ways. Uh, we uh, created a website to make sure that people could access the seattlefoundation.org to look at what we're doing to understand where they can give. That social networking that we have today is, gonna, is a powerful tool to keep interest going on for a longer time than the old traditional way. So we're making sure that we're uh, developing that network, having that communication, having that dialogue with our donors and, and those who are interested so they have a place to go. And that, we think, will have us a, a, a very profound uh, yield for the foundation. Long term. Mm -hmm. Long term. Well, we have basically a five-stage response um, that will take us three years. Uh, in fact, with the Asia tsunami, it's been five years, and we're still putting the finishing touches on the rebuilding after that. So I expect it'll be similar for Haiti. But we raise in the first three to six weeks mm. what we have to spend in the next three years, mm. uh, except for uh, perhaps government grants, foundation grants, and, and some repeat donors, some who pledge monthly for the next few months or years to be with us. Uh, but the, the, the one-time gifts, they're coming in now, and so we have to take full uh, advantage of that opportunity, that media window, uh, to raise those funds. So we're using, we're pulling out all the stops. We're using Twitter and Facebook and, <laughs> you know, blogger tools, sites. And, I mean, yes. they really have made such a huge difference. I mean, not, uh, we're in an interview that I was doing earlier uh, talking uh, about how the, the impact of social networking yeah. now Uncovering, uh, uncovering crises happening around the world, uh, what happened in Iran, and all of that. So, is this the tool that's really going to help that window of compassion long term? I think so, because first of all, uh, to be able to text to give online immediately mm -hmm. is profound. Uh, mm -hmm. So that, that you're able to capture those individuals uh, initially, and they can make that uh, decision more instantaneously, and that's always good for us. But the real thing is, uh, with social networking, is once we get you engaged. <laughs> We can still continue to communicate with you so that you can take this journey with us. Because really, at the end of the day, with a disaster, you hope that people will be able to see the fruits of their labors and also see where the next investment need to be made down the line that gives people sustainability, hope, and opportunity. And this is going to be a journey, so I take mm -hmm. it that your folks are really going to be tapping onto this to be able to show folks what is happening there. On the Definitely. Ground. Things have changed so much since the time of the Asia tsunami. Most of our income that, that we're seeing now is coming via the web um, and by uh, callers to our call center. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't know how well people were responding. Right. But uh, we've raised 16 million just in these last few days, uh, most of that online. All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much thank for taking you. the time. And uh, we will continue to follow this because it will be a long journey. Thank you. All right. Want to help the people of Haiti? You can donate to the Seattle Foundation's Emergency Relief Fund at their website, seattlefoundation.org. World Vision takes donations online at worldvision.org, and we've put links to several other aid organizations on our website. Just go to kcts9.org slash Haiti. And did you know if you live in Canada, your donation can go twice as far? That's because the Canadian government is matching donations made to certain charity groups, dollar for dollar, up to $50 million. For more information, go to the Canadian International Development Agency website at cida.gc.ca.